Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're going to be discussing CR1 visas, that's conditional resident visas, and uh, so-called removal or lift of conditionality. Now, what is a CR1 visa? We've discussed it somewhat at length in other videos on this channel. I urge you to check out the search function on here and you can find some other information about that. Very briefly, it's basically a spouse visa for those who have been married less than two years at the time of entry to the United States uh, in immigrant visa status. Uh, conditional residence was created. It's sort of a, it was sort of a way to dissuade or to discourage so-called marriages of convenience, whereby someone, you know, a couple would get married in order to simply obtain immigration benefits. In the past, you know, that couple, once they got to the United States or once the foreign spouse got to the United States, you know, they could simply get divorced and that foreign spouse would maintain their, um, their lawful permanent resident status based on their prior marriage. Uh, as it sits now, that's not necessarily the case. There are certain limited circumstances where a divorce can occur prior to the two-year mark and the, the uh, lawful permanent residence can remain in effect, uh, but those situations are rather few and far between. Um, certain instances under the Violence Against Women Act, uh, VAWA, V-A-W-A, which we discuss at length on in another video on this channel may you know you could see a factual set of circumstances where an individual or indi uh, where an individual could go ahead and lift their conditions without remaining married uh, but specific to you know the vast majority of cases that's not going to be the case and in fact the individual in question needs to um, remain married in order to lift the conditions of their immigration status basically and what status is that? It's conditional resident status. So they're a resident, but it's conditioned upon the continuing existence of the underlying reason for the original issuance of the visa. So as long, in, in the case of a spousal visa, as long as the marriage is still intact and genuinely intact, um, then the couple can go, you know, the couple goes ahead and deals with the lifted conditions and goes on their way. When does this occur? 90 days prior to the two-year anniversary of the uh, foreign spouse entering the United States and being given their what's called I-551 stamp. There's another video on this channel discussing the I-551 in more detail. I urge those to interested in that topic to go check that out. But as soon as they're stamped in, 90 days prior to the two-year anniversary of that date, um, they can go ahead and file for the lift of conditions. And sometime around the two-year mark, maybe a little bit after that, depending on USCIS's backlog in the United States, an adjudication will take place as to whether or not uh, the same conditions are present that were present at the time the visa was issued. And so long as the finding is positive, a, a lift of conditions will occur or a removal of conditions will occur. So that individual will no longer be considered a conditional permanent resident. They will be considered an unconditional lawful permanent resident. Their green cards will thereafter be issued for 10 year periods and their lawful permanent residence will be permanent barring some uh, future act that could cause or could result in uh, lawful permanent residence being stricken, essentially. Um, again, fairly rare sets of, sub, uh, of circumstances occur where that, that is in fact the case, but it can happen. Um, so again, just to sort of recap, CR1 visas, those who enter the United States in a CR1 visa, um, they need to do what's called a lift of conditions uh, 90 days prior, or they can start the process 90 days prior to the two year anniversary of their arrival in the United States. And upon completion of the process, they will become what are called unconditional lawful permanent residents and their visa stat or their green cards will be issued for 10 years at a time and their lawful permanent residence will be granted in perpetuity in the, into the foreseeable future, I guess is the right phrase to, right, right way of phrasing that. 